reason why I come up with this tutorial because I'm really having a hard time lately to find the RSS feed on the MailChimp newsletter. The new user experience is a bit confusing to be honest. But anyway, I'm going to show you how in case you were also confused just like me. So yeah, you need to log into your MailChimp account and then um, select a account in case you have a lot of accounts that is tied up to your MailChimp. So I'm going to choose this one and then, okay, let me just go back to the main section because that should be the right um, screen the, that, that will pop up when you log in. So you need to go into the campaigns section on the sidebar part, all campaigns, and then click the create campaign um, button. And then um, regardless of what template you choose, you should have option to add an RSS feed as long as it supports an HTML or a text block. So I'm going to choose the regular email. And of course, again, you can choose a different template if you want to. And here you can obviously just write down like weekly newsletter. Okay. And here you need to set up like the subscriber lease, the email address for from, the subject, but that can be done later. Now we'll jump into the content style where you can choose a design you prefer. You can use the pre-made templates in MailChimp or you can code from scratch. And um, let's say you also have an option to use the save templates in, in MailChimp if you already have a branding um, designs that you created. So uh, like these are the options that you could do. Themes that are already available on the MailChimp te save templates that you created and then your previous campaign. And you can also upload from scratch. Now I'm going to choose an example, maybe this one. Okay. And then, so here, so you can remove different blocks um, if it's not fit for you. So again, you can remove unnecessary blocks and then um, you just add like, as long as it is a text file or any blocks that has a text or HTML, you should able to add an RSS feed. So I'm gonna remove this one and maybe just replace this because this is also a text file. And then you just need to click this merge tags, which this one is a bit confusing for me because it's so small, um, like compare before with their old user experience. It's so easy to add the RSS feed. And, and this now is like just my base on my personal, you know, reference. It's really um, a bad experience for me to find the RSS feed. So anyway, just click the merge tags and then jump into the RSS feed item. So this is the code that will tags to your um, RSS feed. And if you go into the code section, you just simply need to change this RSS feed in here. So this um, website, okay, so MX. Okay, and the RSS feed for that is this one. So I'm going to put in this RSS feed in here. And then put it here. Now, if you prefer to style your MailChimp newsletter via code, then you just need to use the block code and just use the merge tags that um, MailChimp created, which is this one, ha hashtag, oh, asterisk rather, with his um, vertical line and a feed and your RSS feed with a closing um, tag. So it's still the same. And when I try to, let me just try to remove this one because it's already duplicated. So if I preview this on my account, um, and if you are using WordPress, it's highly recommended that you also put in a um, featured image RSS feed. By the way, I have an article version in this one for um, more detailed tutorial. And um, actually, I created a 
just wondering if I can still see it, but I created um, a template. So this is the all. Oh, this is the like the template that I have customized. It has a different um, feed list according to the category. I also come up with a full um, with a, a, a featured image and the original, really the original campaign that I um, created is this one. And I have come up with a list of RSS feed blocks and feed items in order to categorize the um, the blogs itself. So this is a feed for the news. This is for the webinar. This is for the other category and the list goes on. This is a static one. And um, this basically this type of thing in here is so called merge tags. So this is so called merge tags in MailChimp. And it's, it's also work not just on a MailChimp platform, but really on a different email newsletter. So regardless if you use MailChimp or HubSpot um, or, or really any newsletter, the RSS feed block should work. So um, basically the main wrapper or container of the RSS feed is the feed block and it and it contains with a, a series of feed items. And these feed items can be customized. Like if you want to make the, the title colored purple, you need to split that and add an inline style. So, yeah, um, you also need to find out what is the isolate feed, isolate RSS feed for that category if you want it to just filter let's say um let's say you just want to filter the case studies then you need to isolate the rss feed for the case studies category which is this one and if you want to learn more about the feed blocks in mailchimp rss merge tags they have these documentations in here i will put on my article version as well and on this description below for your reference but if you have if you really want to know more further if this seems so confusing to you as well and you need more detailed like explanation how this merge tags works then i come up with a um a short course for you that you can check but basically um here these are the main um main code or the feed block the parent of the merge tags um to come up with a styling for your rss feed and this should be um accompanied with an end block and this thing in here should be put in the middle of the um of the feed blocks uh, they provided some things in here but again if you need more help on how you can customize this feed items and make styling with your feed items then i have a tutorial for you that you can check and yeah if you're liking this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification and also comment down below if you have some suggestion that you want me to cover on my next video. I'll try my best to come up a tutorial version for that. Thank you and have a great day.